Hi, Chris Meredith here, helping you create, capture and communicate great ideas. And today I wanted to break down the components of storytelling and give you some clues about how those components apply just as much to that business presentation as they do to that master novel that you're going to write. So stick with me, there are five components, I want to explain them all to you. So, you've been to a movie, uh, you've read that amazing novel, we kind of know that stories have this shape to them, they draw you in, you meet interesting characters, things happen to them, and so we know instinctively what stories are all about. Um, now the great storytellers would say there are five components you need to in include in a story. The first is a central character. There's a person that you identify with. Usually that's the hero, the heroine, uh, but it could be the baddie. Or in business storytelling, that central character has to be you. I'll explain why soon. The second component of a story is that that person is on a mission to achieve something. In the world of story fictional storytelling, they're going to save the universe, they're going to uh, get revenge against the tribe down the, down the road, whatever it may be. But in business, those missions are just as important. Maybe it's to achieve sales growth. Maybe it's to get a project back on track. Maybe that mission is to get new stakeholders on board with what you're trying to achieve. Whatever it may be, it's vital you're clear about your mission. Now the next thing, and this is an important one for business people, is the story involves things happening. Things get better, things get worse, obstacles are overcome. Uh, and in fictional storytelling we see that. We see a setback when the boat burns and they have to swim to shore, or the spacecraft loses that vital bolt. Now in business storytelling we rarely reveal what that's about, and that's important. Um, it's a mistake because the audience want to know the journey you've been on. And so it's important to explain your little victories or your setbacks in getting to what you're trying to say. Now the fourth component is that your story needs an arch. Now that's a technical storytelling uh, term. It means things are gradually getting better, or they could be getting worse, over time. Usually we see our central character getting wiser or getting stronger or more confident. The same is true in business storytelling. So it's important to reveal to your audience the little learnings you've had along the way, the things you've spotted, maybe the people you've spoken to that have informed where you're going. Now we're up to number four, I think, in our, in our list, um, which is so important in all storytelling. All stories need conflict. In Harry Potter, we see him battling against Lord Voldemort, and it's what draws us in. We want to know who's going to win in that struggle. Um, in business storytelling, we shy away from conflict. We want to present this picture where we've got everything sorted out. You just need to agree with what I'm going to say. I think that's another mistake, and it's important to highlight the struggle that the business is facing between a short-term uh, project or a long-term project. It might be investing in people versus in, in, investing in technology. It could be between rolling the dice on a big risk or doing something much safer. Whatever that conflict is, bring it out in your storytelling. Brings us to number five. And it's the obvious thing. It, the story ends with some form of conclusion. Something that delivers against the promise you made at the beginning of the story. We know what it, how it works in the fictional storytelling. Um, the couple meet up and make up again. The universe gets saved. The ship doesn't sink. Whatever it might be. In business storytelling, it's just as important, having taken your audience on that journey, to deliver that final card. This is what it means to you. Now, it doesn't mean you have to spell out what the recommendation is. Uh, a cliffhanger is a great way of finishing a business story so that your audience have to give you something back. But whatever it is, it should be very clear where your story is going and you deliver that final card which invites your audience in. Those are the five components of storytelling, whether they're in business or in fictional storytelling, and I hope you'll apply them next time you're trying to communicate to a business audience. If you want to find out more, 
Storytelling for Business, my flagship program. I'd love to work with you. Drop me a line and I'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like or subscribe. Um, don't forget to tell your friends about this, this community, helping the world get its ideas out there to their business colleagues. Uh, but most of all, drop me a line. If you want to find out more, I'd love to see you on one of my programs. I'll see you soon.